More than 100 Centrelink workers have been sacked or have resigned because they were caught surfing the files of welfare recipients in the agency's database. In the most serious cases, workers changed information in the files and those matters have now been referred to the Australian Federal Police. Hundreds of other staff members are also facing fines and disciplinary action and Centrelink's management says it will continue to monitor staff. Clearly there are some more flexible arrangements that we should have put in place in relation to uh, the assessment of his eligibility. We put him through some unnecessary trauma in terms of referring him to a job assessment. That should never have happened. Clearly we put him and his family through some trauma. In a small number of cases, staff members even change the information within the files. Customers can have confidence that we're on top of things. It's disgraceful. It's absolutely unacceptable for almost 600 Centrelink staff to have accessed customer records without proper cause or authorisation. Minister Hockey must respond by calling in the Privacy Commissioner. An audit report on Centrelink showed one and a half million Centrelink clients are dead and more than 27,000 had never been born. 33 who died Customers can have confidence that we're on top of things. One client was born two months after he died. Customers can have confidence. 1.46 million clients have a date of death recorded, but their Centrelink file is still alive. Customers can have confidence that we're on top of things. One and a half million clients are dead. 27,000 have never been born, that it never ever existed. One client's 132 years old. In other words, the error rate is phenomenal. Customers can have confidence that we're on top of... Centrelink argue, as a percentage of all the records, it's minor. I asked Hank Jongen how he would feel if he was asked about his sex life. Well, customers can have confidence that we're on top of things. More than 100 Centrelink workers have been sacked...